So it's been a couple of months since the first Escapist video. It's now time to Platinum Escapist 2. Now having already done it in 2021, I loaded up the spare account just like I did with the first game to do it all over again. Now I love the first one, but this game truly is a massive improvement. 41 trophies, seven classic prisons, three transport prisons, one Platinum. Let's jump into it. A quick side note, I have also decided that after this, I'll be doing the Walking Dead Escapers in another video, as I haven't actually ever played that before. Play a game, let's do it. Welcome, Prisoner. Precinct 17. Damn. I forgot how much higher quality this game was. Ah, oh, I didn't make Wheaty from the first game. That's okay, we'll let Wheaty uh, live his freedom. Let's go with Clive. Clive looks pretty G, I'm not going to lie. I think I remember how to get out of this prison. I think I can do this pretty quickly, to be honest. What have we got? Tim timber sheet mail and nails all off rip. That's crazy. So you can... I think you can get a fake boom mic and then you can escape with a film crew in this one. If I remember correctly, this is like the only one that I really remember. I might remember the rest of them as I play them. Aha, that's what I need. Civilian outfit. Only ten. Ah, oh, I need a broom. Ah, oh, the game obviously <laughs> the game obviously knows you need a broom to have two people in the same two brooms in the same chest. Craft, there it is. Hey, first trophy on the board, Artful Dodger, crafting item, okay. Yeah, this prison is so insanely easy. I might be able to escape now in one day. I just need to find where the camera crew are down here. Okay, this should be perfect. Everyone's going upstairs to exercise. Why do I keep pressing the wrong button? Uh, triangle? There we go. There we go. Holiday Blues, Escape from Centre Park's 2.0 Prison. So easy. I know, funny, because this prison is so much easier than the first prison of the first game, but I know that the, the other prisons get so insanely difficult. And prisons unlock. Nice. So have I unlocked all of the base game prisons then? Oh, no. Oh, yeah. I think that's the final one for base game. So before I took on the next six prisons, those are all just classed as classic prisons, and there is also three transport prisons, but you only get one trophy for those three, I decided to get the random stuff out of the way, and there's a lot. But the best place to do that is the first prison. And when I say there's a lot, I mean there's a lot. But there was three that I really wanted to focus on straight away, as these could be considered a grind if left until the end. Bad Intentions for knocking out 100 inmates, Bad Intentions Part 2 for knocking out 50 guards, and tell me what's your favour for completing 100 favours. Now while there is a lot of random nonsense in this trophy list, it's all generally fun, just silly fun, which is what this game is. Hitting someone with a cake, giving someone a cup of tea. I never really got bored while doing any of these, even the knocking out 100 inmates, knocking out 50 guards, the 100 favours. I was working towards multiple things at once and it was a lot of fun just to navigate through that first prison without a care in the world. No one was gonna start beef with you because it's the easiest prison in the game. The only one that kind of dragged is to do all of the jobs and that's because you have to do it across like six or seven different prisons. All things considered though, the random trophies are fun. So the three big trophies done and after finally knocking out the 50th guard, I got a few more miscellaneous trophies before going on to the only part that I was truly, truly dreading. So more or less all of the random nonsense trophies I can do in the first prison out the way, it was time for the bit that I was dreading, the online trophies. There's five in total. You've got To Me, To You for entering a multiplayer area. I Am Your Father for fighting another player in the USS Anomaly when you're both armed with energy swords. Those two can be done in split screen though. And I will be doing this trophy a lot later in the video because as of the beginning, I hadn't unlocked that prison yet. But then you've got the three actual online trophies. Riot Act for playing a versus game online. Open Prison for playing a classic game online. These two trophies will pop the second you load up the game. But then there's this one, Online Enforcer to win 10 online versus games. Now winning isn't the issue. I'm pretty decent at this game and I would like my odds when playing online. But there's just no one playing this game these days. I couldn't join any lobbies. And to be honest, I hate online trophies at the best of times. But luckily, I was able to find somebody that was also going for all of the online trophies, so we ended up helping each other. 
While the first three co-op trophies came relatively easily, but on my way to finishing the online enforcer for winning 10 online versus games, me and this guy were boosting and helping each other, but it was still taking some time because of loading screens, getting the correct prison. As I was at about six wins, but then I experienced something I have never experienced before in these games. My save file got completely corrupt. So everything I did before didn't matter. The online wins for some reason are an in-game counter as opposed to a trophy counter. So I had to do all 10 again. All the jobs that I'd done in the first prison, I'd have to go and redo later in this video. Overall, it was just not a good feeling. That re it generally really sucked and yeah. But I bounced back. We also found out that the transport prisons are without a doubt the quickest and easiest way to get this trophy. And after 10 more wins, I finally got the online enforcer trophy. Now that's all online trophies but one. We did try to do this one, but it's actually impossible online. It has to be done in split screen. It's not, it can be done in split screen. For some reason, it's a bug and it has to be done on split screen. So I'll be doing that later in this video. But now it's back to the fun stuff, escaping the prisons, starting with the classic prisons that we have left. Okay, there we go. New game, Rattlesnake Springs. Let's do it. All right, let's see what this prison has to offer. We've got, we've got a good amount of chests to be able to loot each morning. Oh, we've got metal detectors. I remember, I, I remember part of this one, uh, a crossbow. Aha. Okay, so those are the crossbow parts. Ah, oh, there's the crossbow. Okay. It is funny that you like run out of energy when reading. Can you imagine reading in real life and getting like so sweaty and exhausted <laughs> just while flicking through pages of a book. Of course. Of course. Need 70. Get 69. I also need to get my strength and speed up because I do need to beat up some guards to get a key. I want to say it's the red key because it's the door at the back of the uh, back of the map. Crossbow crafted. That's that done and dusted. I just need a lighter and to find out which guard has the red key. That is, that is all. But that might be tomorrow's task. Red key. Officer Lockhart has said red key. Where are you, Officer Lockhart? There you are. Craft and then give him his key back and then hide for a little while. Okay, they'll all go away, then I can just wait. Heart's beating a bit, I don't want to lose this key mold I've made. Okay, I should be able to escape here. Go through here. through here and then here I'm not allowed to be oh maybe I am maybe they don't care if I'm here okay maybe that wasn't a guard I don't know but he scared the crap out of me absolutely scared the hell out of me there we go escaping is my forte Escape the Rattlesnake Springs Prison. Nice, it took me about half an hour. Ooh, medium, okay. I'm gonna do the uh, the transport ones last because I, I done one of, I think I done this one earlier when going for the online trophies and oh my God, I got like the ultimate speed run. Possibly a record, <laughs> I don't know, it was ridiculous. This is actually not a joke. I just want you guys to really quickly watch this speed run.
Now, of course, that wasn't actually a world record because the actual world record is a little bit under 13 seconds. Even though I wasn't going for it, that time actually puts me in the top 70 for this particular map. I just thought that was cool. I've never been a speedrunner, so yeah, this was kind of cool for me. So I'm going to get all classic ones done first and then and then go for the transport ones. Come on, Clive, me and you, buddy. Oh, electric fences. Okay. Four in a thing. But if I'm right in thinking... Yep. <laughs> There's a vent above me. Ah, I said, I said, uh, I said in the last prison, is this the one with the motorbike? No, this is the one with the motorbike. Okay. Okay. Just need to get my intellect up to, oh no, 30. So I need that. And I need uh, a thruster that goes on the bike. Do, 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 do. Makeshift rocket thruster. I think that's all you need for this escape. All right, I need to beat up some guards again because they're the only ones that have the second part of the makeshift thrusters. They have some kind of mints, I suppose, what you'd, what you'd call them. Mentos, you know, kind of things. No, I don't want to shower. I want to see if he's got, he's got the mints. Okay, let's hope there's no metal detectors because I crafted everything before. <laughs> no, we're all good. There we go. Stop playing the harmonica. Could you screw any slower? God, my heart is racing, man. This would be a good game to have one of those heart rate monitors attached to. Cause, like, this isn't even really a difficult prison, but I'm kind of doo-dooing myself right now. Boom! A camp departure. Escape the Kapow Camp Prison. This one has taken a few in-game days. I thought maybe two or three, but we are at, uh, this is the fourth day. Or the fifth day. We've served four days, so this is the fifth day. And all we're really looking for is a piece of string that I just cannot seem to find. Okay, uh, it's quarter to ten at night. We're just going to keep trying. <laughs> That's all I can do, I suppose, is just keep trying. So I kept looking for the string. 10 o'clock passed, 11 o'clock passed, midnight passed, until I read that it may be in the medic chest. So I got the infirmary outfit, made my way over to where the medic chest is, and after all that time, it was in there. And it was one hell of a relief to see that piece of string. But as it was so late, I just wanted to quickly build this fishing rod and get the hell out of this prison. So that's what I did. Went to Snooty the Dolphin and got out of there. So before going to the next prison, I was able to quickly get this trophy in the previous prison with one of the jobs. We're now on a Fort Tundra. This setup has taken me quite a while. I'm just going to get my fitness up for... Uh, mining purposes, but we should be able to escape tonight. I've got quite the setup done for the solo escape. The only thing is, is this is the only solo escape I've never done because I did the co-op escape on this game, on this map with my uncle. But getting everything set up has been a real pain, I'm not going to lie. God. My heart is racing because this is a tough one. He's gone that way. Boom, there we go. Let's cut through these bad boys. Let's go, let's go. Quickly, quickly, quickly. God, I'm gonna be sick. <laughs> go, 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 go. I think it's this way and this way. That's a dead end. And this way. I should wear a heart rate monitor during these. I swear to God, I think my heart rate's probably at like 400. That should be us out. 
Boom. Chilled out. Escape the Fort Tundra prison. Lovely. Okay, so we've got Area 17 and then USS Anomaly. Now, I know for a fact that I can get another trophy on this one, like, pretty quickly. Look, come here. Gotcha. There we go. I'm the daddy. Knock out every inmate at least once in a single prison. Okay, guys. It is time. We need to craft that and that. Craft that red key. Take that, take that, and take that. There we go. That's that outfit on. Need to take his civilian clothing. Make my way down here. Not quite as nervous for this one. This one wasn't as quite as much set up. And put that on. And equip that. Boom! I want to believe escape area 17. Let's go. Boys, done and dusted. So the final one is USS Anomaly. There are a few things I need to do on that. Uh, and obviously you've got the transport ones as well with... That one I can do in about five minutes. That one, I haven't played that one in a while. And then uh, this one I can do in about 40 seconds <laughs> if I'm really quick. I think my fastest time is 30 seconds. Before going into the final prison and the three transport prisons, I finally got the last three miscellaneous random cleanup trophies out of the way, got them done, so the final thing was to escape the prisons and get this platinum. Before I get into the final prison, I want to just do the transport ones really quick. Right, let's do it. I know how to do these ones pretty quick. Just have to see which escape comes first. There we go. I can craft this, and we can exit. And there we go. That is that one escaped. First transport one done. The next one is the HMS Orca. Okay, this one I'm not too familiar with I don't quite know the roots of the guards as well Bing part all right this should be it let's go and then before we do the USS normally the last one is Air Force con yeah all right I was just thinking if I remember how to do this one. But I do. It's got pretty cool music with this game, I have to say. Which way is he going to go? That way. Let's take one of these. Craft that. Craft that. And let's get out of here, boys. There we go. The mobile escapes. Oh, God, it's still got the other account logged in what's it done that for okay we're now onto the uss anomaly uh, we don't actually need too much i need a red key and a guard uniform that is all red key jegs 209 has the red key okay oh god let's put that in there let's put that there Let's put this desk here, with any luck. Okay, well, I'm locked behind this door, so what do you want me to do about that? I'm locked behind a lot of doors, there's, there's not really much I can do. This has gone spectacularly wrong. Oh my god, I just avoided the lockdown like that? Okay, here we go. Here we go, here we go. We need to go this way, through here, through here, grab the jetpack, through here, through here, go like 
like that. Go like that. And boom! I've got a cunning plan. Perform seven unique escapes across the classic prisons. The great escape. Escape from all classic prisons. Oh, one pixelated step, of course. Escape the USS Anomaly. Houdini. There we go. Unlock all trophies. And that is in Escapist 2. What a brilliant game, man. They, they really... The first one is... is fantastic and i think this one is is better there's a few things that i wish they hadn't added but i think as a whole for the the maps and from like the tools to the a bit the, the difference in the digging and the clipping and everything like that i just think as a whole it's it's a better game but both are fantastic i don't know what platinum this is because this is on my second account uh, but this is my second platinum on the second account uh, i recommend it if you guys haven't done the first one do it if you have if you have done the first one but you haven't done the second one do it it's a bit more challenging but it's uh it's a much more fun game in my opinion and if you've got some buddies to play with, like back in the day when I first played it on my main account, I don't know, with my uncle, we had tons of fun doing all the carp escapes. It was really enjoyable. But even if you're playing solo, you can still have a lot of fun with the game. But anyways, thank you as always for watching, guys, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.